Blessings everyone, welcome back to Kyle's Cavern. I hope you guys are having an awesome night. If you cannot tell by the title, we're having a conversation, a little conversation about black moonstone. So if you have this crystal or work with this mineral, please leave your experience down below. Before we even jump on right into the video, I'd like to say hello to all the new subscribers. Welcome to Kyle's Cavern. I am Kyle, owner and operator here as Kyle's Cavern and also as medicine bag so welcome we would love to have you here welcome 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 all and um let's hop right on into the video on black moonstone and we're actually coming upon our i believe our first new moon of 2024 the year number eight of transformation so um this would definitely be a good time to work with black moonstone on new moons on black moons so well, black moonstone is a another variety of feldspar so feldspars are another group of crystals like moonstone you also can get labradorite spectrolite from the feldspar group of crystals so it's in that family hardness of black moonstone will be a six to a 6.5 so it's very great for jewelry make sure that that the setting if you are getting it set in jewelry any silver that that the setting is going to protect the stone for everyday use just like moonstone and labradorite even though labradorite's glow comes from labradorescence agilorescence is found within moonstone and also black moonstone so the that glow that you may see that comes from within, within the stone is called agilorescence. Chakras for working with black moonstone would be the root and also the third eye chakra. The crystal system that black moonstone is a part of would be the monoclinic. The planet that would be associated with black moonstone would be, of course, the moon. So any workings with uh, the moon, all phases with moonstone, but for the new moon energy, I highly recommend working with black moonstone for that protection and also if you are doing any astral traveling during the new moon you want to make sure that you're protected during any type of spiritual work so definitely moons black moonstone can definitely help to protect you during though your spiritual work if you are doing any during the new moon the elements associated with black moonstone will be wind and water so you can definitely tap into the energies if you have any deities that are associated with those elements you can definitely tap into those nature spirits those elemental spirits if of course in black moonstone will definitely have to protect you while you're doing that as well black moonstone is great for rebirthing so of course like i said new moons is a great time to work with black moonstone so uh, if you're trying to start new adventures if you're trying to start new beginnings working with black moonstone would be a great tool for you to use i highly recommend that as we talked about black moonstone is great for new moon energy and also it will help to protect you from malevolent forces that may be going around working with black stones and black crystals can definitely help to protect you from negative malevolent forces i definitely do feel that black moonstone is great for balance and grounding so if you've been lacking a little bit of balance in your life and you've been needing some stability and you've been needing to feel grounded which is of course i've always said when you're working with any when you try to activate your chakras your root chakra your balance where you feel safe um needs to be worked on so working with black moonstone can definitely help to get yourself balanced and grounded also, if you're looking to invite more calmness into your life, Black Moonstone would be a great tool for calming yourself. It, just like Labradorite and Moonstone, it definitely helps to increase your intuition. So if, you, if you've been looking for a stone to help you with your intuition, then definitely working with either Labradorite, Moonstone, or Black Moonstone. Those would be really great tools to help activate your intuition and to tap more into your inner voice. Black Moonstone helps to support any type of new beginning. So if you're starting fresh on something, a new uh, project, then definitely working with Black Moonstone can definitely help to support you during your new adventures. So it can definitely help to be that supportive friend during new adventures. So definitely recommend Black Moonstone for that. So Black Moonstone has been great for prosperity. So if you may have a prosperity corner, uh, or a feng shui a type of like money shrine, you can definitely add black moonstone to that. Black moonstone is also great for psychic protection. So if you may be doing divination work, or if you may uh, even be doing some astral traveling, um, it helps to protect your etheric body as well. So if 
you've been looking to have something to assist you during your travels and also if you're doing shadow work definitely grabbing moonstone can be a great tool for that moonstone and i think also black obsidian can be a great a great tool for protection during shadow work a little thing that crystals do when you wear them on your skin when you're you know if it's if you're crystals are wrapped up in the metals the gold the silvers your body is receiving hence why people some people with fake jewelry their skin turns colors because their skin is absorbing the metals so with us wearing gemstones and crystals that definitely you're getting hit with small doses of the crystals energy throughout the day um our bodies are absorbing the energies of the minerals. So definitely having it within your, you know, protection amulets every day or having it even in your home can definitely help you. So I definitely recommend that. Black Moonstone is a great travel tool as well. So wherever the moon shines, you'll be protecting any type of Moonstone. Black Moonstone, White Moonstone, Rainbow Moonstone. Also Black Moonstone is great for activating your Kundalini energy. So as we talked about before in a video before that, um, your kundalini energy is your energy fields, the serpentine energy that goes up your spine. So that starts at the root of your spine all the way out your crown. And that connects you actually to the divine, and to source basically. Looking to activate your kundalini energy, definitely working with black moonstone can be one of those great tools for you. Cause you know, there is another type of moonstone as well, larvakite. I've worked with larvakite personally, and that's a great, great moonstone. I think it's it's mined in Norway. And then tomorrow is the new moon, so the date is actually no, you know, like January 1st, and then it's 11, so 111. So it's a great portal day tomorrow. So yeah, I'll be posting this tomorrow, so today. I definitely recommend black moonstone for new beginnings and for protection during your new beginnings because you definitely want to make sure you're protected during any of your spiritual work and also it's like black moonstone or other black minerals can help to protect you spiritually and physically if you enjoyed this video on black moonstone if you have please give it a thumbs up also share the video to any crystal lovers um and don't forget to leave a comment down below of how minerals or how these crystals are working for you because i will read the comments i go through all of them and this year we will be pumping out more videos on minerals and herbs, so please stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's video on Black Moonstone and I will catch you in the next one. Take care guys.